All right, today is December 30th, 2015. We're out here with Mr. and Mrs. Aponte. Uh, Mrs. Aponte and Mr. Aponte had all had Castle do all their windows. Mrs. Aponte, tell us how you feel about your windows. Hi. Yes, I am very um, pleased with Castle Windows. We um, had um, Castle Window call me and and offer me to do windows and I was very pleased they came out and looked at my windows measured and they did my windows and I'm very pleased with them it's been a year and very beautiful and then um, had um, them call me back and see if I needed any other works and I did needed um, some siding right? okay. to be done and they did some a very small area of my siding very pleased of the siding and now I got a new call, and now I'm gonna get um, my porch um, enclosed in. And so with Castle Windows, I'm very pleased with my Castle Windows um, company. I'm very pleased with their um, employees as well. Um, I did have um, a roofing company that I did, um, did a contract with, and unfortunately um, had a very bad experience with it. And, um, very sad that I didn't call Castle Windows to do it for me. Um, so. So basically, what 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 happened was you had. Well, with this company, I um, they recommended me this company, okay. and so I called them, and they came out and did a contract for me. I gave them a deposit, um, fifteen hundred dollars deposit, and um, well, I had to pay you know installments installments okay. and and so i would because i didn't have all the money at the time sure so i tried to you know make an installment so so they could come and do my the job and unfortunately when i did get the money set up to for them to come to get to the job the company went bankruptcy supposedly okay. and, and when you... i called and so I lost my fifteen hundred dollars. Never got my money back. So you paid a deposit. Um, you followed up with the company. They called you, and when you found out that the company was out of business, you spoke to the owner of the company, and he, I, I can't give your money. I couldn't back. find him at all. And then all of a sudden, um, two weeks ago, I got a call from the owner. Okay. Um, and he said, um, he spoke to me about. You know, Miss Edna, where were you? I haven't heard from you. I said, I, I couldn't find you. Sure. Um, I called the company, and the, your company's out of business. Where were you? And, uh, you know, uh, he says, oh, I mean, you, I, I can't give you your money back and whatever. I said, well, you know, I, I had to get somebody else to do my roofing. And he says, oh, why did you get somebody else to do your roofing? Mm. And I said, he says, well, your company, I called your company with the contract, with your, num with your phone number. And he says, well, uh, no, I was moving. And mm. I say, he says, I can't give you your money back. I said, well, you know, he says, I can't. I, I, so, yeah, sure. I mean, I've been waiting and this is what happened. So. so, basically, what could you, what advice could you give anyone who's basically thinking about choosing a local contractor. Not that there's anything wrong with choosing a local contractor because all local contractors aren't dishonest. But what we're trying to get is the the risk that you take with dealing with a local contractor as opposed to dealing with a very reputable company who stands behind their warranties and does good work. Well, I think that, I mean, most of all, I think we should maybe, you know, do a double check on them. I just sure. went right to it and didn't sure. know what kind of, I mean, I just found out by a second. Word of word, mouth, sure. Word of mouth, and so I just went right through it sure. and gave money immediately. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean it, with 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 um, Castle, I mean, I have all the document, everything sure. is written down, everything is, is really, you know, um, never see you have documents everything is documented everything is written down everything is really specified sure and then the thing with castle you have one person come in like you sure. come in and explain everything and then there's another person that mm -hmm. comes the and, installers yeah and before the installer because you come in and do the measure mm -hmm. and he do the measure and give me the numbers and everything mm -hmm. and then there's another person comes in and re-measures make sure that what your right. measurement was correct yep. and and i think that's a good 
thing to do because then there's two measure sure people Maybe measuring make sure that that measurement is exact. So yeah. overall, would you on a scale from one to ten, how would you rate Castle? Ten. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Ponte, and have a great New Year. Thank you.